Hi everyone and welcome to our five minute fast facts on scalp micropigmentation interview with Pro Artist Series. And today we have a very special guest speaker, um, the very well recognized and experienced pro artist all the way from New York in the USA. It's Mr. Matt Ayulo from Scalp Micro USA. So welcome, Matt. Hello everyone. Thank you, Kaylin. Good to see you. All right, so here we go, Matt. Um, so you're an experienced SMP artist. Tell us, when did you enter the SMP industry and how have you seen the demand for this service increase over the last years? Yeah, sure. So I got into this late 2010, so coming up on my 10 year anniversary. And uh, yeah, thank you. So um, yeah, so 2010, I got into it as a client and then obviously has made it a career. and. Uh, a lot has changed. When I first got into it, it was a very niche service. There were only a few providers globally. And, you know, fast forward to now 2020 and there's clinics in every parts of the world, all different, um, you know, regions and, and countries. And there's exponentially larger amount of uh, practitioners and it's definitely more widely available, which is great. Um, and there's a lot more education out there for artists that are learn, uh, trying to learn as well. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And why do you feel um, that more clients are now choosing scalp micropigmentation as a hair loss solution opposed to other things such as um, medications and surgeries? Sure. Well, I think the, the big thing is there's more awareness. So the more awareness there is, there's more people that are more comfortable with the procedure. You know, in the early days, it was something new. So people might have had some more uh, skepticism, hesitation. Now, probably you know someone or know someone of someone that has had the treatment done. So there's that. And also people are realizing that this is a very low maintenance, um, easy style to live with. It looks good when done right. And so, um, you know, compared to some of the other solutions that are out there that require maybe ongoing maintenance, ongoing um, expenditure, uh, this really stacks up very well. So it's, it's becoming a really, uh, probably the, the leading solution at this point. Um, and so yourself and within um, your company, you guys treat thousands of clients um, from in the US um, and internationally, they fly all over to come and see you. Um, is there a number one fear that commonly pops up across clients all the time that um, it's, a, it's a common fear that people have stepping into possibly starting a scalp micropigmentation transformation? Sure. Well, you know, we, I always know, and even because I went through the process as well, I always know there's going to be a mix of both excitement and anxiety. And so most people that actually step into the office, they're really excited. They've, you know, been dreaming about this day for months. They've done their, a lot of their research. So they're very excited, but they're anxious because it is an unknown. It's a, it is a treatment. It's not an invasive treatment, but it is a treatment that you're undergoing. So there is a bit of that. What if, what if it doesn't turn out right? What if I don't look uh, good with it? What if, the reactions aren't good. So I'd say there's a little bit of anxiety because you're not there yet until you are there, right? So, um, you know, the common fear I would say is they trust the process, they've done their research, but maybe understanding what that final result will look like and how people in their social circles will react to it. That could be a, a, common, a common fear. Yeah, um, and that is one thing that is commonly brought up with us as well as how um, how it is when someone first meets you for the first time that you haven't seen in a while and they um, see you with your new look. Um, how was that for yourself um, when you started to you know meet up with friends and um, and they then saw you with your scalp micropigmentation? Yeah, it, it was interesting because you know I never shaved my head really before so that was new to me and then you know add in this new treatment i thought it looked great i loved it i was looking in the mirror like yeah i can get used to this this looks good but you know you as, as soon as you're introducing yourself back to your your friends your family there's going to be a reaction now in my case it was just that my hair was shorter and that i looked a little bit i guess healthier um for others it's you know some people i find a lot of my clients sometimes are underwhelmed with the reactions they get in a in a way that not that it looks bad that it looks good but that most people don't even really pick up on it or really um notice a big change and that's really cool because that's that speaks volumes about how this treatment can be very subtle and, uh, and natural 
Yeah, because quite often it can be in the client's own head. It's it's new to the client and it's new for you to be having a scalp micropigmentation. So it was very front of mind. But um, you know, to those that are you know seeing you, you know, they're not expecting to see anything different. Yeah, I always I always say, Kayla, no one uh, cares more about your head than you do. So yeah. you know, while it's on your mind and while it's something you're looking at in the mirror every day, to other people it's not as important. That's not to say that you know it's not going to make a difference in your appearance. You're not going to feel and look better, but it's usually not top of mind for you know someone else. Yeah, excellent. And if someone is um, looking into having scalp micropigmentation and they just can't decide on what kind of hairline suits them, what kind of advice can you give to that client um, about the best designed hairline for them? Sure. Well, I think it starts first off in the in the research phase, um, you know, in the consultation, in the research phase, is make sure that you spend time looking at your artist portfolio, seeing the different um, styles and designs they're, they're providing to their clients and, you know, deciding which may fit you. Um, are you looking for something that's very, very youthful, very, very bold, or are you looking for something a little more understated, a little bit more mature? Understand that first and then, um, you know, trust your practitioner on the day of the treatment they can guide you. I would recommend if you are unsure or you want to build into it, which is always a, you know, a thing we recommend, you could always start a little bit higher on the forehead. You could always start with maybe a little bit of recession, so a little bit of curve where it's not a dead straight or super, super aggressive hairline. And then as you get comfortable for it, don't worry. If you want to make changes, as you know, Caitlin, they can come back for you know, a follow-up and adjust it down lower or make it a little bit more youthful if once they get a little bit uh, more comfortable with uh, with how it's looking beautiful excellent well there you have it and thank you to the one and only the very talented scalp micropigmentation artist um, from scalp micro usa mr matt um, for being a part of our five minute fast fact pro scalp micropigmentation artist series so i'm very I'm sure that you have made some of our viewers and listeners more comfortable about the idea of having SMP. Uh, and we hope to have you back um, perhaps at another time to chat again. So thanks so much, Matt. Thank you, Kayla. This was fun. Thank you. Excellent. And if you have more questions or comments, um, we'd like to hear from you. So don't be shy. Don't forget you can email us, call us, um, or perhaps pop something in the comments below. And uh, we hope to see you soon.